In today's Fortnite update, we got the brand new Haven masks and these are brand new and I've got a method for you guys to complete these very quick. If you wanna be one of the first people to unlock the last mask down here, you can unlock that by doing this method or if you're someone like me that's gonna leave these to last minute, you can do that as well. Or if you're someone like me as well, it doesn't really play too much BR to focus challenges and you play a lot of creative or build maps and you haven't really got too much time to focus these in BR, this is the number one strat for you. Now, this can be a little bit tedious, but it will get them done very quickly. I I played two games and got a total of 48 in about 10 minutes so super fast grind there for the feathers and for those wondering how you unlock the mask let me just quickly explain that if you don't already know so each mask has a unique challenge like hunt chickens you know slide meters search io chests rare chests hunt wolves all these are basic challenges that we all know how to do you know fish different things land on trees just very easy stuff uh, overall like different challenges and that you can see deal damage on colombo which is absolutely cool deal damage to columbus uh Columbus, Columbo, whatever you want to call them. So uh, they call them a mixture of names and here they call them to Columbus and they call them Columbo there, which is called feeding berries. And anyway, that's what you do. You do the little challenges and then you get to unlock these with feathers. Now, feathers are earned from opening chests. You could generally just play the game and earn them from opening chests, but I've got a method for you guys, which is super effective, how to get these super quick. And that's by playing Team Rumble and farming chests. Now let me show you guys the perfect run for this, especially if you're an OG player. I'll show you guys this now. We'll switch over to that footage. Here we go. Okay, so Team Rumble, why is it the best for this? Why should you play Team Rumble out of all the other modes? Well, Team Rumble has a 100% spawn rate for its chests and less players. So, Greasy Grove. Well, OG Fortnite players like myself that don't really know the chest spawns at any of the other POIs other than Greasy Grove and maybe Tilted. But Tilted would be quite busy on Team Rumble, so I'm not going to go there. Greasy Grove is going to be your number one spot. And also, Greasy's even got extra chests, extra chests compared to the original one, so you even get an even more. So the first thing you do is you want to glide into the webs over here and grab the Spider-Man Mythic. This is going to allow you to move a lot faster when you're collecting chests and speed up the process. So grab the mythic and you'll be set to go then over here you've got a little shack go to this shack and open the chest in here this guy here i don't know what he's doing is he trying to get in i don't know what he's doing but i'm gonna open that chest and there you go i got the feather it makes like a weird sound when you get the feather you know when you get it so once you've got the feather then you want to rotate over to greasy and start looting the houses and what you want to do is you want to only carry heels because you're going to need a lot of heels because the storm closes in very very fast on team rumble but trust me guys if you have heals, you'll be able to loot the entire Agrisi and then back out. But you need to know where the chests are. So let me show you guys that. You got your first one there on that house. I'm not even in Greasy yet. You've also got one up here as well. So if you break up here, you'll get another chest in here. You can open that chest up. So, so far, we've opened three chests and collected a bunch of feathers. I think we've got two feathers or out of the three chests so far. I'm not going to count the feathers in this video, but I do get a total of 24 or 26 in this game. And I was thinking of checking that hut there. But to be honest, I just want to get over to Greasy as fast as I can and start looting this place up because it has a ton of chests. And once you learn the route and you know all the chests, spawns you basically set to go and if you always land greasy no one really lands here on team rumble because it's always on the outer side even if you're diving across the enemy's bus again you might only get one person land here and they'll rotate out as soon as the storm comes most team rumble players aren't doing challenges so inside of here you're looking for chests again and you're going to go upstairs in this house and you'll find a chest up here you can go any way up here there's always a chest on this side of the house up here you can use visualize audio as well i'll explain that in a sec we'll turn that on in a second show you guys that but rotate down as well see if there's any chests around here there's not any any chests in this inner section the nearest chest to me now is in the basement but i'm just going to turn on the visualize order to show you guys how that works as well i had to recommend using this for this as well to help you locate the chest you can see i'm thinking well where's this chest where's this chest right now but it's actually in the basement and i think to myself it's in the basement so let's go into the basement which is actually where tomorrow not tomorrow where derberger is located where he's living or someone from the derberger faction is living down here which is a cool little easter egg for those that haven't seen my easter egg video but once you're down here you can see uh, you, can, you don't even need to break that you can just pop through the wall you can open up chest there and i get another feather in there so really neat we are really farming feathers well and you just want to keep using heels and as you keep going around keep using heels keep using them and just keep rotating the storm will start to do more damage but trust me guys it won't get you then up here as well you want to break into this house there's a total of another chest i think this house has two chests in total you got this chest over here another nice little heel there med mist so we're going to pick up that that's going to be super handy and the other chest should be on this far side over here we can break into here and we should get the chest it's going to be just around this corner 
Uh, no, is it down below? Yeah, it is. It's down in here. So these are actually inside the house. So it's in this lower section here. You can open up that chest there. Another med miss that's going to come in super handy as well. We'll pick that up and we'll break through this wall here. And this other chest should be just right through this wall. And there we are. So we've already got three more chests and a bunch of feathers already being collected from them. Then we keep rotating through on Greasy Grove because there's just even more chests in here. This little stand has a guaranteed chest spawn as well. Remember, chests are 100% spawn rate in Team Rubble. We could take the med kits as well, but they take too long to use. So personally, I don't really use them. I just take them just in case I don't find any other heals. Also in this house here, you got it on the little slanted section on the yellow house. Nice little chest there. Easily done there. Take them chuggies. They'll be good. All right, get them chugs going. And the next chest should be under the stairs. So head in here, open that up there. And then the final chest should be up on the top floor in the attic. If we break into the attic, we should find it up here. So we'll break up here like that. We're going to build ourselves up. And then we've got the chest here as well. So another lovely chest loot there inside a greasy bunch of chests and a bunch of feathers. Now, once you've done that, you want to rotate into the taco store. Make sure there are no extra chests around here, which there isn't. And then you're going to go into the taco store. You want to build up here and just break into the roof right here. Because on this side of the roof, you will also find a chest. Now, there's a bunch of chests inside of this taco restaurant. You can break through this wall here and you'll find another chest inside of one of these office buildings just here on top of the bookshelf, which is really neat. And then you'll also find another chest on the roof inside of the taco shop. So if we break up here like this on the roof by the ventilation system, you'll find another chest as well, which is going to possibly have a feather in. Now, once you've got that chest done, you can keep rotating through. There's a bunch of chests around. You can see absolute tons being indicated on my indicator. We keep going down to the basement down here and you've got another chest in the basement which i can open up just like that sadly no feather that time and another another really good tip is to actually take these uh these fruit boxes and change your settings to low as well if the storm is annoying you make sure you got your settings set to low for some reason i don't know why this is the case but when i changed my settings to low my game actually started to like you can actually notice on here i started to drop a lot of frames with low settings i don't know why another little chest underneath the stairs as well you can open but i do end up changing it back to high just because it's annoying me the lag i don't understand why it's lagging on lower settings it's weird but i it's just a weird bug then inside of here you've also got one in the toilet which is really neat and then you've got all the ones in this section and finally the next one is just above us again on the floor above up there so you build up to there you can break in and you should get this chest inside of here which is going to be really helpful for you you can see you could have gone upstairs and got it but i just thought it'd be easier to break through and that is all the chests in that tackle shot a torn and torn of chests in here which are really handy so i'm going to change it back to high due to that uh, frame rate drop i'm like why is it why is it lagging so bad let's change it, change it right back to max settings there there we are all right so perfect and we've got all that uh looted up nicely done and we can move on to our next house which is going to be this green style house over here and make sure you use your meds as you do rotate through they come in really handy to keep you up to date with your health this one's going to be up on this upper section here we're going to break into here and we're going to get the chest as well so nicely done another little chest looted there awesome 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 another feather i'm going to break into the house and possibly just go up probably should have just really just built straight up there to be honest and not really gone through that wall but oh well it doesn't really matter we got that one there we knocked that chest down another little feather to our collection so you know we're doing pretty well and we've got pizza bots they'll come in handy for heels as well we're going to move over to our next section which is actually going to be checking around here there's going to be one in the doghouse at the back over here so you can open that up get the doghouse and you get obviously the slurps right there which is super super handy for you and the yourself in the storm i guess i was gonna say others but it's just you doing this on your own then over here at the power station and you can see there's another chest at the back underneath the railing over here which is super key this never used to be here on the original uh, greasy which is a nice new addition then over here as well there's another one inside of this founder this was always here on the original greasy but great to see it returning there and then if you keep going through as well you won't find any here at the basketball court or anything but the garage this wasn't here in the original greasy grove either so inside of this garage you can actually get a total of three different chest locations you got one right here you got one through this wall as well uh, just in front of you as you break through like there just there i don't know how i missed that but i do it's just right in front of me i don't know why i haven't opened it yet but i'm just a little bit of a noob sometimes <laughs> so there we are we just completely missed that chest i don't even know i don't know why i didn't see it like i said but oh well there's another chest down here anyway when you break through here in the toilet so you can grab this one and uh, this is a really handy chest as well if you want to grab that and then the other one is just the ones i'm looking around like where is it where is it even though i've just seen it i'm just a complete noob sometimes and then let's build up to it 
I know it's up there and I'm thinking, why have I done this? It's just literally there. So I build up to it, grab that chest and that'll get you that other one. And they're a total three in this building here as well. That gives you a little bit of an extra one with another feather there coming in. And then we've got our next little location of in Greasy, which is going to be our inner houses. You've got two inner houses. You've got like the bungalow style one and the shop. So we're just rotating around right now, looking around if I missed any chests in these houses. I know I didn't. I kind of get a little bit confused. But I know this bungalow one I've not looted up yet in the middle. So we'll eat some of the pizza. You can also store the pizza in your inventory. This is when it gets a little bit difficult. If you were better with the webs and faster movement and found more chilies, you could definitely do this a lot faster. You could probably get this loot down, like this loot run down to like five minutes if you were like perfect of everything. Obviously, I haven't perfected it yet. I just want to get it out for you guys. But if you perfect this loot run, you could do a really good job. Again, a lot of, well, absolute ton of feathers very, very quick. And do which is probably what I'm gonna do. I just want to get this video out for you guys so you can kind of perfect it. You don't have to do greasy. The reason I do greasy is because I know the chest spawns from the original chapter, and I would probably do tilted as well if no one was to land there, but there's always someone landing there on Team Rumble. And when you get eliminated on Team Rumble, it spawns you at where the circle is. So you don't really want to do tilted, to be honest. But it would be a great spot if no one was going there for sure. And if you could guarantee yourself a bunch of chests. But usually teammates go there as well and they take your chests and take your feathers. So Greasy's always the best shout, I think, for these challenges. It always was, really. Greasy was like, always my go-to for any challenge, really. I'd always go to Greasy Grove because never... No one really went there, even though it's a popular POI and stuff. No one, in reality, really went there compared to Tilted. People would go, but just not as much. So that was super handy. And then in here, there's one more chest on the far side on top of this wooden little uh, table cabinet type thing. Little uh, store type. And then the final chest here is going to be just down. Is it going to be down below or is it going to be above? Is it? I can't actually remember what this final one is. These are definitely feel like new chest ones. I don't remember these. Uh, some of them did spawn, actually. Two of them did spawn, but I think the final one... He's up here on the roof. I don't remember this one spawning here in the original uh, Greasy. Why did that not lift me up? I don't know. Anyway, let's build up here. We'll build up and get this final chest. You can open that up. And you've got all of your feathers you can possibly get in this game. So once you've done that, you can either stay in the game and go and farm up more feathers from the chest located in the circle or just outside the circle by gliding out and opening them. But once the storm starts doing 10 tick, you kind of just want to pick up a weapon and get the game over with. You don't really want to mess around if you're doing that. Or you can do what I do in this game and just simply back out and repeat and just keep doing that over and over i know it's a 10 minute process but you're gaining probably one to two masks every 10 minutes if you do it really effectively which is going to be super handy and i think that is how you will be able to gain your masks at the best rate possible hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and i hope it has given you a full overview of how you can gain these feathers fast if you are someone that is busy and doesn't have time to play br 24 7 then this is the method for you hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to go and leave a like comment and subscribe and once again this is postbox pat signing out